Hi everyone. My name is Saad. Today I will share with you my paper in improved blockchain system chain based on secure defined network. Before I start, I will try to explain some point about blockchain or secure defined network and how we can uh, get very uh, positive technology when we compare or we, when we uh, compare or we make two this technology work together. So <clears throat> in the beginning, we talk about blockchain. Blockchain is distribution database. So it's uh, basically it's ledger or database that record all the data from some point of, of time till this moment. And uh, number two, it's decentralized. So before we have three different database, basically centralized and decentralized database and distribution. And blockchain is decentralized, which means that there is no uh, one point or uh, a middle uh, man or uh, one central uh, authority that can control or or manage or uh, change or delete or do anything with the data. And uh, mainly a list of growing record, which I said before, it's start from the genesis. For example, in blockchain, there is one genesis block that is the first block. You start from that block until this moment, and every block it's continue to uh, connect between the previous block and the next one. So, <clears throat> also blockchain is symbol proof and revision proof. So there is a, a time and there is no, uh, anyway, you can change the data inside that block. So that's just to make it hard to uh, take the security from it and delete or change anything. And one more thing, it's uh, open for public uh, permissionless. We, we used to work with the permission uh, database or permission uh, platforms, but mm -hmm. in blockchain, there is no one, as I said, no one central authority or one point or middleman. And uh, the most uh, important thing about uh, blockchain and security, when we come to talk about security, it's the proof of work, which is the concerns that make sure every block, it's uh, <clears throat> continue the, the data or the hash from the previous uh, blockchain of the Genesis block till this moment or till this uh, the to this block. So you see there is uh, a list of data and transaction and the previous hash and hash. And if you see the genesis block, it's zero, the previous hash, because there is no uh, previous block. But from this genesis block starts block one and block two and three and four and so on. So every block will have previous hash and hash and uh, the data and transaction. Which is a the data, the list of data, not the address, transaction, and time, timber, uh, time stamp, and other things like uh, uh, the time and uh, obviously the previous hash. So, how blockchain works? Uh, as I said before, it's growing list of records called blocks. So, one ledger every uh, block, we have uh, uh, a time step and link previous blocks. So every block linked to the previous one, and uh, they can 
managed by publicly or uh, uh, auto, autonomously and due to peer network and uh, also the distributed time uh, spending. <clears throat> and uh, in, in nowadays, there is also some uh, private blockchain, which is uh, different from uh, block, uh, public blockchain, and there is also other uh, difference between these two systems because uh, public and private, there is uh, some people only they can change some stuff in private, but in public, for example, it's for everyone with that system or this blockchain. So <clears throat> I will give you here that the test of uh, the uses of blockchain, uh, recording of events, medical records, and identity, identity management, transaction processing like uh, Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum and other cryptocurrency, documenting movements and marketplace, smart contract like Ethereum, and uh, digital products marketing like uh, NFT and vulnerable. Uh, Okay, and property records and uh, uh, projects in working or cloud storage and finance. History of blockchain, which is uh, uh, the time step, was uh, by Stuart Harper in 1991, and uh, of course, Anderson, um, and uh, in uh, 97, and Doily, China. And uh, the most most of them is the time step and the bit gold by uh, Nick Zabu <laughs> and the uh, Bitcoin uh, by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008 and uh, blockchain 2.0 in 2014. <clears throat> so, what is the issue with blockchain or what the problems? Uh, the Bitcoin scalable. The problem when we use the principles like proof of work, it's uh, take us uh, too much time to verify one uh, block or one transaction because um, there is uh, computing, uh, mathematics computing, uh, networking uh, devices try to solve uh, uh, mathematical problems, but that takes some time, um, and that's uh, make it expensive because every uh, one try to solve this uh, math they need the uh, reward and uh, so that's why the cost is expensive not like uh, a private or uh, other uh, crypto currency that uh, work without uh, proof of work or without uh, uh, very uh, expensive uh, concepts uh, blockchain is a network that relies on nodes. So in B2B in general, it's a, a distribution network. So every node, every network, every node in that network uh, try to uh, work to help the network to verify uh, uh, transactions, uh, uh, make uh, the security, uh, uh, in, in, in example of uh, Bitcoin uh, full uh, node uh, and try to keep uh, the malicious node out of the system and uh, sometimes uh, restore or store the data uh, and sometimes help the, the nodes also to figure uh, if the if node uh, was out of uh, the system or uh, send some incorrect or uh, uh, manipulating information, uh, the network uh, nodes if, or every node has uh, on um, uh, <coughs> duty to this network. And when we said uh, uh, nodes, that means there is uh, not every node the same with the, the trust nodes. There is untrust node, there is a, a malicious node, and <coughs> that's make it not completely secure. So what is a software defined work? Software defined work, it's a system or it's not, uh, yeah, it's a system network that uh, separate the control data from the uh, uh, data plan 
or the control plan from the data plan. So uh, in transition network, we have uh, uh, the control plan and uh, the data plan was in one device or uh, in one hardware, but uh, in secure defined network, it's, uh, they are separated by uh, uh, using a protocol, which will uh, talk about it in the next slide. And uh, secure defined network is heavily on virtualization. So it's, there will be uh, too many things, too many vir virtual uh, uh, like protocols, uh, software uh, uh, switches and uh, routers. So secure defined network, uh, forwards data packets from one network device to another, like, not like the traditional network when uh, <coughs> packets go from uh, device to, to device to device to device and so forth. Because <coughs> uh, still defined network, as we said before, it's uh, uh, separate uh, control plan from the data plan. And uh, software defined network uh, uh, control uh, function for routing. So uh, you can uh, control uh, the function of routing by every routing some uh, duty or some <coughs> uh, things to do uh, in, uh, in, in that uh, area. So to define the work, uh, uh, also uh, you can use it for specific uses like uh, dynamic and legal and scalable network. So we we can uh, to define the work can help us in this uh, matter of uh, scalable and uh, dynamic and sometimes also the cost because it's cost less than the traditional network. This is a figure that shows traditional device or secure defined network architecture with the traditional network. You see here the control plan and the management plan, data plan is one device or one hardware. But in uh, the secure defined network, the control plan and management plan is different from the data plan. And that's why we use open flow protocol that connect the control plan to the data plan. And by this uh, separation, we make uh, uh, specific uh, uses and uh, 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 forwarding the packets from uh, router to, uh, to, uh, to switch and uh, switch to router. Software define network and blockchain. <clears throat> Distribution system that uh, great open source up to that kind of work. Uh, so, uh, blockchain distribution and secure defined network. Uh, it's uh, network surface that uh, uh, control the software from uh, 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 the infrastructure layer and the application layer. So uh, you can, if you if you want to send or receive or forward packets from uh, network devices and from uh, control layer. You will use to define it work because it's not in, run on the server in the controllers. So, and this is some example of Nox and Onyx and Tima and Bacon and Mist, and also other more examples. <clears throat> and here, the following instruction, which I said before, it's uh, forwarding the elements of information from uh, uh, <clears throat> router to switch and uh, uh, the control. So forwarding that element. So every uh, uh, secure defined network can uh, <clears throat> control uh, differently from other uh, network inside that uh, system or inside that network in general. Here we see the application layer and uh, this is the secure defined network uh, architecture. Or, uh, layers, and you see here uh, application layer and control layer and social layer, and then the application layer, the business application, and uh, the control layer is the support of network, network servicing, and uh, 
uh, social layer, which is the network device. In our example, will be uh, the nodes. And you see here the control data plan interface with uh, the network devices by uh, using the open flow protocol to to connect to the infrastructure layer, which is the network devices or nodes. Here we came to <clears throat> one of the things that I mentioned in my paper, which is the, the types of nodes. So we have uh, in Bitcoin or in blockchain in general, we have uh, uh, full node and uh, light node or light client, but uh, there are other uh, nodes that uh, we, uh, we didn't see like uh, every time and there are some people have uh, different uh, uh, different uh, idea of, about that node. So today uh, talk, uh, we'll give you some summary about uh, types of node or highlight. Uh, we have full node Basically, all of us, we know that uh, full node is uh, one of the uh, Bitcoin <coughs> strength things. that make it uh, uh, every uh, full node in blockchain that uh, uh, hold all the uh, ledger or the transaction or uh, download all the blockchain uh, from the Genesis block to uh, this moment. So if it's full, uh, node that can validate every uh, transaction, and uh, uh, th that's why we call it fully validating node. <clears throat> and we have uh, also uh, remaining nodes, which uh, <clears throat> uh, similar to uh, the full node, but without uh, uh, the hold of uh, history of blockchain. So. It's uh, it's kind of uh, uh, same transaction, uh, hold wallets and uh, uh, also hold some data of history. So there is no need to uh, download all the history of blockchain. So this is the difference between full node and remote node. Hardship node, it's uh, <clears throat> as you see here in this, uh, it's the red one. So Hardship node, uh, it uh, can send the transaction and uh, holds the balance of the information of wallets and uh, <clears throat> holds uh, the all uh, history of uh, blockchain. So the difference between uh, archive nodes and burning node. Uh, archive nodes hold the all history of the transaction and burning nodes or some data of that history, maybe not from the genesis, some some amount, like some number of blocks, five, six, seven, different, depend on that uh, network or that <coughs> system. And uh, mining node, which is the node that uh, uh, propose uh, uh, new blocks, uh, that, that, uh, that node that validates a new block, and the light client, which is <clears throat> uh, similar to the SBV, simple, simplified payment verification. And uh, you see here from Archive and Full Node, they are sent to each other. And uh, uh, light client and SBV will be that light uh, nodes in, in uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, environment so that uh, they don't uh, install or they don't uh, store all transaction and uh, they only uh, have uh, some specific information like uh, hash uh, or uh, a transaction uh, data and sometimes uh, it, it, it's, it's a list and uh, uh, 100 uh, kilobytes sometimes, so there is no too much data inside one transaction. So here types of node summary in one table. So full node uh, uh, can pro uh, propose a new block and now uh, only the binary node that propose a new block. And uh, send new transaction, every node can send a transaction without uh, 
the mining node and uh, uh, the world balance information. Every node can also hold that uh, information except uh, mining node and uh, a complete uh, data history of blockchain, uh, only full node and uh, absolute node that hold uh, that information. And uh, some data history of the blockchain, uh, the uh, light clients, which are light nodes and uh, simple mainnet uh, verification node also that they are hold uh, some data of the blockchain history. <clears throat> Uh, in Node, we have uh, different uh, types uh, inside the, the network. So we have the uh, client and the uh, LP node, uh, or trustworthy node, or and uh, malicious node, and Eclipse node, which is uh, isolated or uh, <coughs> uh, cannot share with the, the other nodes in one network. Uh, we talk about the light node and the uh, SBV node, which is uh, uh, not uh, the difference between full node and uh, this uh, type of node. It's uh, the uh, history of blockchain data. So they don't uh, <laughs> hold all the uh, data of history of blockchain. So you see here, you see here uh, they only uh, hold the blockchain uh, uh, header, which is the BB uh, hash, and the announce and uh, the marker root. And you see here the hash uh, inside the block uh, header and marker root, uh, hash 01, hash 23, and from uh, hash 23, there's uh, two child, hash 2 and hash 3, and from hash 3 child, there will be uh, transaction uh, 3, which is uh, in the uh, right mode, and that's this is how might uh, uh, not work only by uh, having the transaction uh, basis uh, hash or the blockchain header and inside that blockchain header uh, previous hash and uh, nonce and uh, marker root. Uh, the path uh, size inside the light uh, node or light client, it's uh, <coughs> Uh, from the market uh, three hash, which is uh, the important thing in, uh, in the light node, because by this uh, uh, hash, uh, 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 cryptographically, can, we can uh, only uh, verify the transaction without uh, downloading all the history of uh, blockchain. So we see here the root node, which is hash. Uh, one, two, hash three, four, and hash five, six. And then the node hash, which is hash one, two, hash three, four, and uh, hash uh, five, six. And uh, every one of the those hash, there is a child. So each one, which has one, uh, hash two, and uh, we call it uh, leave hash or child. And finally, the certificate, which is the data of block. So we see here transaction 001 that go to the uh, child hash one and then to node hash or the cradle uh, <coughs> hash hash one two and then from there to the uh, root node. And uh, so uh, fourth for all other uh, data blocks, so data block two and uh, three and four and uh, five and six, so every uh, data block transaction or certificate go to the child or leave hash and uh, leave hash go to the node hash and then to the root node or to the marker three hash and then from there go to inside the block header with the previous hash and the uh, nonce. So by this way of uh, by uh, sizing uh, we can uh, uh, we can transaction. Uh, we can uh, <clears throat> uh, make uh, the average block size. It's uh, uh, something up, um, uh, about uh, eight gigabytes, and uh, the path uh, size will be in hashes. Of, uh, of course, twenty-four hashes, and uh, path size in bytes will be uh, uh, six hundred. Uh, uh, sorry, seven seven hundred six 
six, eight uh, files. So that means we have uh, more than uh, uh, 16 million uh, transaction in just uh, uh, eight gigabytes and with 24 hashes. And this is uh, uh, something that make a light node or uh, SPV nodes uh, uh, very uh, uh, scalable, not like uh, full node that takes uh, more size of the block size and more uh, uh, bad size of hashes and those, of course, uh, more bytes. <clears throat> Here, uh, light uh, node or SVB node with secure defined network architecture. We see here application layer inside that application layer. We have uh, load uh, balancing and uh, traffic monitoring. And then the, the application control uh, layer interface uh, uh, connect to the control layer, which is <coughs> NOx or box of load light in a uh, uh, secure defined network. And then uh, the control data uh, layer interface uh, uh, following the bucketing from the uh, <coughs> Uh, that uh, 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 land to the uh, 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 data layer, which is router and uh, virtual switches, as we, see, as we said before. So you see here, right read, and then uh, go to the blockchain. And uh, here, uh, architecture for security defined work uh, control with the uh, two virtual switch and then uh, nine nodes. And from uh, these nine nodes, they connect to the blockchain by uh, uh, sending the validation transaction to uh, be validated inside the private or public uh, blockchain. So application layer here, we have uh, 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 the node and uh, the control banner or the control layer, we have uh, switches and uh, uh, sorry, in data layer, we have the switches and router and uh, in uh, the node control uh, to uh, write and read the Blockchain. Here's some uh, uh, part I use it to for the experiment of uh, uh, virtual uh, machine or secure defined network. We use, we use some, uh, uh, like for example, Docker image and Red Hat OpenShift and uh, Open Blue protocol. So the, the, the thing we, we test or we work on it or we focus on it uh, here or node testing. Of course, in blockchain, we, we can uh, test uh, block size and uh, the chain size and uh, the smart contract, uh, uh, the node and security and transmission of data and uh, API testing. But in our Paper on our approach, we, uh, we focus on the node testing. And we win, we test the uh, node when the uh, node uh, for or uh, there's no enough node to in, uh, in network. And how we do that by simulating uh, Byzantium nodes or uh, validating the ledger after nodes uh, that uh, start or join the network. So every uh, <clears throat> note that uh, uh, we join the network, uh, we validate the ledger and uh, ask some uh, information about that uh, the data that uh, was uh, uh, sent uh, to that uh, node before uh, uh, <clears throat> before stop working with the network and. Uh, that's how we know it's uh, 
not malicious node or from uh, different uh, node not used to work with uh, uh, our uh, uh, network routes. So we have uh, important tools for testing and development. We uh, use a uh, distributed application locally and a virtual machine like client and virtual machine image like Docker and uh, a virtual machine container. <coughs> so the client uh, will be uh, connected to the node and the node will connect to each other by to be to be and to work uh, and uh, uh, the copy of uh, the data will be uh, on all that node for example here uh, a b c d so every one of these nodes will have uh, the copy of the ledger of the transaction from the genesis or from uh, Sometimes, if it's a uh, light uh, node, will be <coughs> only the hash, uh, previous hash, and uh, mark uh, three and the hubs. But in full nodes, will be the whole uh, transaction or the whole ledger. And uh, what we can measure with uh, this uh, experiment uh, the average flow setup latency will be in uh, microsecond. But here, actually, we focus on uh, the next uh, multicast, uh, multicast uh, throughput in buckets or uh, seconds. And uh, the traffic uh, forward uh, also measured in uh, buckets or in seconds. And the comma uh, <coughs> will be in virtual machine, as said before. And then matrix matcher, which is uh, tested. Uh, if we control CPU, will be uh, uh, number of uh, hyper uh, users of the key switches and uh, virtual network um, increased, and the uh, number of uh, virtual machine and IP addresses. And uh, this is in response time in villages. And uh, in blue drop, it will be uh, modifying levels of illegal traffic injections. So, this is some idea about what uh, we will do in uh, our experiment. Here we start with the, <coughs> the Docker image and the Red Hat and Open Shift. So to uh, we use uh, uh, online or virtual machine nodes. So uh, use Chrome and the Firefox uh, browser to deal with this experiment because of this more security points work. It's uh, more uh, it's reliable virtualization more than um, physical uh, devices. And this is that to make the uh, open global to call <coughs> needed in this kind of uh, network. Here, uh, also simulation about how to use the physical uh, hardware and to work with uh, this open flow and uh, Docker uh, image. So open flow will be uh, the management or the protocol that uh, connect routing and switches and switches uh, to routing and uh, to nodes or to network devices. And uh, the code will be image the container that uh, contains uh, the uh, node or virtual machine and network. And uh, <coughs> open the shift will uh, uh, instruction node will be in the registry and uh, you can see here that uh, we can send the verification or transaction to uh, blockchain and uh, we have here the master node so it's different special master node that may be um, have more uh, control than uh, uh, other nodes and this is will be uh, uh, manageable or controlled by the open flow protocol. So this is a summary of uh, my presentation today. Uh, applying security defined work uh, to the transport network 
it's my offer uh, in solution to long standing network and the blockchain and security fund work they are increasing uh, to deal with the high cost and energy consumption especially in blockchain protocol for instance and uh, simple, simple maintenance of location nodes provide scale or light uh, node that provide scale lower hardware cost and uh, uh, lower ongoing surface cost and uh, blockchain and security fund network uh, could improve network response to surface to surface demands. This is some reference to what I shared with my paper and presentation. And uh, yes, if you have any question or any uh, comments or anything, you can contact me to or send me an email to my email in this. Uh, right. I hope you enjoy this presentation and uh, uh, I try to summarize my, my paper or give you some uh, big points and uh, still working in the experiment so I need to unblock some uh, things in experiment and uh, yeah, thank you for listening and uh, have a good one.